Hey there, Alicia Colon, a paper illustrator and your creative guide to creating this really fun retro rocket. Now, right off the bat, you probably noticed that your kit is a different color than mine, and that is okay. This tutorial will cover all color flows. All right, what's important is the piece shape. Now, as we move along the process, I'll be sure to point out the varying shapes so you can follow along. All right, now with that settled, what else do we need? Well, first and foremost, you're gonna need glue. Now, this is my favorite glue to use. And you can find this at Unstationary or you can get it at any craft store. So this is Fast Grab Tacky Glue. On top of that, I really recommend a craft rag that's coarse, that can get the glue off your fingers and off your space and away from your kit that you're putting together. All right, now, we got the kits, we got the colors, we have the supplies. What else do we need to talk about? We need to talk about the tutorial. This tutorial is meant to be paused. Now what I suggest you do is that you watch a segment or re-watch a segment and then replicate the actions that I just did. All right, so pause it and then come back to me and we'll continue the process, okay? Now you can definitely do this in one sitting or you can do this over the course of multiple days. The pace is completely up to you. So, are you ready? I think we got everything sorted out. Let's get going. Okay, so the first thing that I want you guys to do is separate your pieces into their four colors, okay? And then the next thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna glue a couple of things just on top of each other. We are gonna fold and mold them later, but for right now, all we need to do is that we need to glue them. So they have plenty of time to dry before we do anything else. So the first thing that we're gonna do, glue is get your rocket top and then get this piece that has a bit of it of a, a crescent shape and you're gonna put that on the bottom. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our glue. Just doing a thin layer. Okay. There we go. All right, so once it's done, go ahead and just put that over to the side so that can dry. Now the next thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna go ahead and take this piece, piece fold it in half. So what I like to do is line up the triangles and then just essentially squeeze and pull that down, okay? And once you have that, take your fingers and fold that out. All right, so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna glue the part that is straight here. And the pieces that we just fanned out, we're not going to glue. So there we go, just a little tiny piece of glue. There we go. Okay. There we go. Now again, we just need to let that dry. So go ahead, set that aside and let dry. And remember, please don't glue this part. All right, lastly, this is the last thing that we're gonna have some pieces that we need to glue and then we're gonna let that set aside as well. Okay, so you can see that there are a side that has score lines and there are sides that don't have score lines, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and turn this over so the side that has score lines are, is facing away. All right. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this piece on the bottom like this. Now, it should be noted that there are little cuts in three different places and it should line up perfectly, okay? So what I like to do in this instance is I'm gonna take this glue and I'm just gonna dab. Because we don't want a lot of glue. But notice I'm just dabbing on either side 
of the, oops, that one got a little bit too high. On either side of the circle, so you see that? I didn't just do like a big thick line, I really kind of sparsed out my glue. Okay, and then making sure that I don't cover up the notches. I want those notches to align. And then you can see it created this really cool color in the rivets. All right, now you notice that I am moving pretty quickly and that's because the glue, again, it's a thick, very thick grab, quick grab glue and it allows me to move on pretty quickly. Your glue might have a different drying time, also known as curing. So it might cure a little bit less or quicker. So you might need to go a little bit slower. So notice I'm doing the same thing here And I don't really have any notches to pay attention to, so this one is gonna be a little bit easier. But I gotta make sure that all of that. Okay, and then you can kinda of see how this goes, right? It lines up. So I'm gonna put it there, and then I'm gonna just drag it if I need to and align it where it needs to go. Okay. All right, and there you go. All right, so it's really important because we are gonna be folding this as you can imagine because um, just so you guys know, these score lines are gonna be where we fold it and you guys will see that momentarily. But it was really important for us to go ahead and glue these pieces because if we didn't allow them to dry before we folded it, essentially it would just kind of slide. That's not good, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and put that back and now I need you guys to find these three pieces, okay? Now, it should be the same color as your rocket top. And you guys can see the score marks, right? Um, essentially, it's these little lines right here. And what score marks are, are they are indentions in the paper that allow you to fold it where it needs to be folded. So generally, those score marks are always going to face you, and we, for the most part, are always going to push down on our, on our folds, okay? So we're just gonna do that. And so what we are doing, we are creating a mountain fold, all right? So as you guys can imagine, mountains go up and then they go down, and that's essentially what we're doing, right? We're going up and then down. Okay, all right, so now that we have that done, the only thing that we're gonna glue at this juncture is gonna be this very end tab, okay? And what I need to make sure you guys do is if you guys notice, if you fold that down, you see the, the, the width that we have here, that should fit perfectly with that tab. And this is called, these are called box tabs, all right? So when you're gluing it, just make sure that it's aligning, okay? And so what I'm doing is I'm just pulling it and making sure that it aligns. Now just a reminder, your color palette obviously will be a little bit different than mine, unless of course you got the unicorn, but the color palettes, uh, is not really important, it's the shape of the pieces. Okay, so you have one fin that's that's ready really to be moved on to the next, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and do that for the next two. Okay, so if you guys wanna go ahead and pause or uh, re-watch me doing this one more time. Okay, 
now that's done, I'm just gonna go ahead and put glue on this little tab. Okay. And of course, just make sure that everything is aligned. All right, and do your next one. I'll see you guys in a little bit. We have our three little fin attachments. So let me show you guys where that's gonna go. That's gonna go right here, all right? So the next thing that we're gonna go ahead and build are our actual fins, okay? And so that is these three things. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do, as you guessed, is that we are going to bend all of our scores down. So we're gonna do mountain folds everywhere. But there is a new tab that you guys haven't seen yet. That tab is these things right here. These are called shutter tabs or sawtooth comb tabs. For the duration of uh, this tutorial, we'll be calling them sawtooth combs. All right, so what I want you to do when you, anytime you see these, that's an indicator that that is actually going to be a curved edge, as you guys can see right here and so whenever you guys do a curved edge essentially that just needs to be kind of stretched and molded if you have a dowel rod or a pencil or a pen or anything like that you can essentially kind of mold that paper or even your finger you can mold that paper there or you can do what i just did which is essentially kind of bend bend and curve like that all right once that's done go ahead and do your mountain folds, which is again, away from you, throughout everything, except for these. You don't necessarily need to do the mountain folds uh, where the scores are. Okay. So the first thing that we're gonna need to do before we glue any of this together is that we actually need to go ahead and need to attach are like fin attachments, okay? So one of the things that you guys notice is that we have short on top, long on bottom. So we look at this and we're like, okay, it's gonna go in this way. So we'll make sure you put the short on top and the long on bottom. Now when you do this, it's gonna fit quite easily. And you're gonna, you're, it's gonna look like perhaps maybe it doesn't fit. But remember, this is gonna have to fit at an angle. Now, I'm gonna ask you to take these two tabs that you guys, these, these uh, inside tabs, I'm gonna want you to do a valley fold, okay? A valley fold where a mountain fold is like this, a valley fold is like this, okay? So instead of, well, you are gonna be bending it away from you, oops. So there you go, that is what a valley fold looks like. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this there. So now, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna put our glue, and mine's kinda of crooked, so I gotta straighten it up a little bit. Okay, there we go. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna put glue on either side of these tabs, and then we're gonna glue it onto the inside of our fin, okay? So I'm making sure that I keep the glue where that fold has been. So you should be able to see that line really good because you guys did the mountain fold on that piece of paper and then on top of that you did the valley fold. And so that created re a really good line. All right, and so then at that point, you go ahead and you just push it down. Now if you have anything where your fin wants to act kind of crazy, you just mold it and you just hold it until it dries. And so there you go. We have the beginning of a really cool attachment piece. And as you guys have probably figured out, we are gonna do a very similar thing to the body. Okay, but let's go ahead and keep going. So the next thing that we need to do is that we need to start gluing this whole thing together, but it's gonna be a lot easier if we glue these curvy parts on the outside, and then we're gonna glue the box tabs on the inside. So again, the sawtooth combs will be glued on the top, the box tab will be glued 
under. And the reason why we are doing that is because this is a really interesting shape, right? It's It has some rounded and then some flat. And if you guys try to like align that perfectly, it would be really, really hard. But if you end up using it as a structural guide, it becomes very easy. And that's what we're gonna do. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is push these tabs back like that. Put glue on your box tab. And let's go ahead, because this is gonna be really easy for you guys to do. Go ahead and line up that these points and then push to make sure this is nice and lined up. You want it to be absolutely flush if you can. And if you have excess glue, just wipe it off with your finger and then wipe it on your craft rag. That is what that is there for. Okay, now with that in there, it's gonna be really easy for us to take these exterior sawtooth comb, put glue on them, and then essentially you might even need to pull it over in order to shape it. But it's gonna be, it's gonna create a really good line. And don't worry, we're gonna have fin covers, so you're gonna be able to hide those combs, okay? Now, here's the point where you might be getting glue on your fingers. So it's really important for you to have something in order to get the glue off your fingers because you do not want to put it on your craft. All right, so again, I have a little bit of glue on my fingers. I'm just gonna take a break and get all of that off my fingers. Okay, cool. So that looks pretty good. We have a little bit of a tab here, so I'm going to go ahead and glue these two onto this side and that side. So a little dab here, a little dab there. Oops. Now again, if you have a paintbrush or anything, that might be helpful, or tweezers. You can also just pinch it with your fingers. All right, and essentially, we're gonna do the same thing now, but on the other side. So again, fold those tabs outward, okay? And fold any of the box tabs down. We're going to do the interior box tabs first. And then we will do the sawtooth combs last. Now, I'm holding this, but if you guys want to use the table for your counter pressure, please do that. I'm just doing this because it's closer to the camera so you guys can see more clearly as to what I'm doing. Now, once it's done, I'm going ahead and doing a little bit of glue on these salty combs. I am pushing that down. Okay, all right. Well, we have one done, but I am gonna ask you to do another thing really quickly. So go ahead and find these two pieces. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go ahead and glue the covers on, because it's just nice to go ahead and have that glued before we go on and do something else. All right, so notice I did a little bit of like an oval there, and I'm quite literally just gonna plop it on, and then I'm just gonna drag it around There you go, that's one. And so the reason why I drag it around is to spread out the glue, which is really nice. Okay. 
because you want to spread out the glue so A, it doesn't wrinkle, and B, it, it kind of glues pretty quickly. Okay, and there you go. All right, I've done one fin. So you guys have two more, and I'll meet you back here as soon as they're done. With our three fins done, it's time to go ahead and move on, and we're actually gonna move on to the antenna because it's something that's gonna need a little bit of glue and time to cure before we move on. So you should find your antenna, which is the first piece that we went ahead and glued, and then the two pieces that have slits in the middle of them and your two little uh, circles. All right, and so actually the first thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna thread the antenna through these pieces, all right? Now they're just gonna slide in there. They're not gonna go very far, but we just want them in there. Okay, now that they're in there, we can kind of figure out how we want to position them. All right, so I like mine being a little bit wonky, so I think that's good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move that up a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue here where I want it to stop and on the other side. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that right on top of the glue. All right, then the next one, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna move it up a little bit. Put a little glue here. Ooh, that's a lot. And then just pretty much using residual glue. I don't have to put any more out because you just need a little bit. Like that, I want that to point like that. There you go. I like wonky antennas. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is I go ahead and I put a little bit of glue on the top, on both sides. And I'm quite literally gonna lay this down, flip it, and then lay it down using the glue to grab it. And then I'm gonna use my fingers to pinch and mold because I, I want those to be really tightly adhered. All right, and so I'm just gonna hold this a little bit. There you go. I have a very fun, wonky antenna. All right, cool. So we're gonna go ahead and let that dry. And let's go ahead and put together our body. All right, so you guys already know what we're gonna do with the score marks. We're gonna Fold those, those are gonna be mountain folds. And really try to stick to those scores, okay? And when you can see, I start from one side and I start working my way down. And if I have trouble, I put my finger on the bottom of it, essentially to have something to fold against. All right, but then down here, it gets really kind of wonky, but you wanna make sure that that's nice and crisp. Okay. It's gonna be a little bit hard here on the edges, right? Because you have two pieces of paper that you're folding instead of one, but specifically on the bottom, you're folding it closer together than you are on the top. All right, now it should look something like this. So you have a, your body coming through. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is that we need to pop our wings through. So your wings will obviously be coming from the outside in. And when you're, when you're inside, you're gonna do the same thing that you did last time, all right? Remember, so I'm gonna kind of bend this out a little bit. We're gonna valley fold. We're gonna valley fold these tabs. All right, so I'm literally just grabbing it on by the fin. I'm gonna put glue on these lines here. And then I'm gonna push it through. And if there's any molding I need to do, I'll go ahead and I'll do that. But for the most part, it should be pretty, just pretty easy, okay? I have one leg in. Now we get to do that two other times. I 
even though it's hard to see. Okay. And if you gotta mold it, go ahead and mold it. All right, now you guys pretty much know what's going on, so go ahead and do that third one and I'll see you guys here in a second. Time to glue the rocket body together. So you guys have seen that there is a box tab. So go ahead and if you wanna go practice where that's gonna go before you put glue on it, it's always a really good idea, but you can see that it's gonna slide in right there. It's always a good practice to explore how these pieces fit together before you put glue on them. Okay. So I'm squeezing it using my finger inside the rocket as counter pressure in order to make sure that that adhesion is staying pretty clear. Now, lucky me, we're always gonna have a front and a back, right? And so you guys can see I have a little bit of a divot there, but there's always a front and a back. And so since this is my seam, that would probably be my back anyway, and this will probably be my front. I mean, that could be my front as well if I want to, but it's kind of good to kind of think about where you want to put your front as you're moving on. Okay, so that's exciting. We have, it's starting to come together. We start we're starting to see it. So the next thing that we need to go ahead and do is that we're gonna do this um, like th thruster part right there. So again, all of these scores are mountain folds for you. So just go ahead and fold them all away from you. And then And so what we're going to do is that we are going to first glue all of these that are on top closest to this shape right here. So I'm gonna put all these little glue on all those box tabs. And I'm just gonna curl it as we go. Notice that I'm not just moving on to the next one. I do want there to be some short time for adhesion before I move on. And while you're doing this, just know that your glue is drying. And so normally what will happen actually is that you're gonna need less time to push as you move on. because the glue has already dried a little bit. Okay. So again, if you wanna push against the table, so like this, definitely a good idea. But I wanted you guys to see what I'm doing. All right, so that should be pretty good adhesion. So the next thing that we're gonna do is I'm just gonna bend this back Make sure that these are pointing towards each other, these box tabs. I'm gonna do glue. I'm adding the last side here. Pinching the top and the bottom. Okay. Now, once that's done, this is gonna slide in to the bottom. But remember, when, earlier when I was talking about seams, we always need to pay attention to where our seams are. And so right now, the seam right here is shown in my left hand, it's facing me. 
And I would say the seam to this is also facing me. And notice the seam, I have a different shape tab just to make it a little bit more obvious. And so that's what I want to put on the bottom. All right. Now, as you can see, this, I'm going to bend this. Okay, it is bent. All right. So I'm going to like put this in here. And you notice that it, it sits in there really, really, really nicely. And the tabs, you guys are gonna need to glue the tabs from the inside. Now, hopefully you guys have some long fingers or you can push your finger through this to glue it. But what I like to do is I like to do one at a time, okay? But I'm gonna apply all of our glue at the same time, but I'm going to actually put the glue inside first here. All right, so I'm putting the glue inside, as you guys can see. Because if we put the glue on the tabs of this piece, when you're putting it on, you would end up smearing it everywhere. It's not really what we want. So notice I took the small tab and I placed it towards me and I'm pinching that. So all, I mean, I was able to slide this in and that's great and I make sure that all the tabs are inside, none of them are poking out, but I'm quite literally only going to be doing one tab at a time. All right, gonna move to the next one. Now again, there's a couple of different ways you guys can do this. So. Notice I'm just putting my finger through here and essentially what I'm doing is I'm pinching and like pulling it down to make it really snug. So that's one way. If you're having trouble, you know, get your fingers in there like that and push it in there. Okay. Uh, you can use your tweezers, but maybe you want to use the uh, this part of your tweezers in order to apply that pressure like so. Okay, so you guys can do it that way or a pen or a pencil or a dowel rod, really whatever you need in order to kind of stick these in here. All right, I have to say this is one of my favorite color palettes. Um, I just just love it. All right, so that's looking pretty stinking cute. We're gonna go ahead and put that to the side and we're gonna go ahead and move to the top, which is really exciting. So again, we have all of these different scores, marks, and all of these are mountain folds again. So go ahead and push them all down. And it's kind of crazy, there are so many of them and you might overlook some as, as you go. The only ones that you guys don't really need to fold are the bottom ones, but I mean, I, I, I do it anyway, just out of like habit, but I don't have to, you don't have to fold them like, like really far down, like we fold these, just slight. Now this might be a little bit difficult because it is really close to the circle. So again, this is where I like to use my finger underneath it as a counter pressure. Okay. All right. All right, with that done, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this. You guys see there is a box tab here. So I'm gonna glue this box tab together. Making sure that it's flush on the top and the bottom. Position is pretty important. All right, and then once that is nice and adhered, what we're gonna do now is that, um, we are gonna put our antenna on, okay? So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna put glue on the tops of the purple and then we're gonna slide it in here and then we're going to glue it at the very tippy top. 
all right, on the inside, right there. See it? Right there. So let me show you. So I'm holding it by the pink thing. All right, I got me some glue. Awesome. So you see how I pushed it in there? All the way to the tippy top. And then I'm gonna put glue right there. Down on that box tab, box tab. Okay. And I wanna make sure that this is nice and flush. Now if there's any excess glue, again, I'm gonna wipe it off. Once your antenna is glued in, you'll notice that it's kind of uh, to, the sh to the side. It's not necessarily front. So what I do is I just kind of twist mine a little bit. There you go, to make it a little bit more front facing. Then the next thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna go ahead and put glue on the remaining box tabs and we're gonna glue those into the rocket. So let's get going. And I go ahead and I put glue on all of these. And it should fit quite snugly. The key is when you're gluing these to really try to make sure that all the tabs are going on the inside. And if you get some glue on your fingers, just make sure you wipe it off, okay? You don't want to accidentally get glue on your craft. There you go. All right, and you should be able to push from the top, but more importantly, you should be able to pull from the inside. Okay. That lo looks really good. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna go ahead and attach our head to our body. Now this window here is actually gonna be very important because it's gonna be the, the mechanism that you use in order to glue these pieces together, okay? So the first thing that I want you guys to do is pick your front, all right? So again, I have my seam right here, so I wanna go ahead and make sure that this is my front. And the front, of course, is gonna be in between two fins. Now, with my front identified, I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on the tab. And what I like to do is I like to make an anchor point before I move on. So I went ahead and I put glue on this tab and I'm applying pressure and I want this glue right here to set before I glue everything else because it's really gonna help to have that one part be really attached as I mold the rest of the rocket. Cause you can see it, they're kind of wanting to do their own little thing. My, my rocket head is going that way and my body is definitely not playing the same game, but it will as soon as these tabs are glued. All right. And so the next thing that I want you guys to do is that once that anchor point is dried, just go ahead and slip it in like that. Okay. So you notice all I did I just put them together okay and you can see for the most part it's pretty flawless it should be really easy in order for you to to put it together okay but you can see that you like you know some edges you might need to push in a little bit and so that's how the glue was going to be for you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on these tabs. 
but I'm going to be very careful to try not to get glue on my rocket body. With that, I'm going to slide them in, making sure the tabs are inside. Now, once they are inside, I'm going to have to use my fingers and apply that extra, that extra pressure. All right, and it's it's easiest, of course, to do the ones right next to the window, so I, I tackle those first. And then essentially what's left is the back three because there are six parts to this, right? And then I just go ahead and I just try. Now my fingers can barely fit there, but it is enough in order to make some tension. The good news is that the glue will actually dry too. If you just, if you just hold it long enough, here. It will eventually dry for you. But I like to make sure, if I can, just even if it's barely, to make sure that those are in there. Again, you can do that with tweezers. You can keep it on the ground. But there you go. All right. So my rocket head and my body are now connected. So the next thing that we need to do is that we need to work on the windows. Okay, so we do have a couple of pieces in order for us to think about on how to do the windows. Um, we have our, our like window pane, which is your yellow. We have the outer side of the, the outer side of the, um, this window, I don't know what you, what, what you would call it. But anyway, we have this, we have the inside of the window, we have the exterior side of the window, and then we have the front facing part of the window. And But you notice that even though that there's one circle here, there are two circles, uh, two ovals. And so you're probably wondering what in the world is going on with that. Well, the reason why we're doing that is because if you guys recall, when we were putting on the fins, we did do some uh, sawtooth combs outside of this yellow, right? Using essentially the piece as a structural guide in order to maintain shape integrity. And so that's exactly what we're going to be doing here. So we need one to maintain shape integrity and then we need the other one to cover it. Now, here's the thing is that it's hard to tell uh, when you're just looking at them that one is actually a little bit thicker than the other, but one is thicker than the other. And so what I need you to do is I need you to place them on top of each other and you'll see there is one that is thicker by like a hair. Take that one and put it far from you because this is the one that we're gonna be using for right now. This is the last piece before we apply it to our rocket. So I'm just gonna put it there because this is all we need right now. Okay, so with our window, what we are going to do is that you're going to take this longer piece and notice that there are two different sawtooth combs. There's one with a sharp and then one with a rounded edge. So go ahead and take them and we are going to curl it. We're going to stretch the fibers with our fingers. Okay, and we are going to bend these combs down, all right? Only the sharp ones. All right, and what we're going to do is that we're gonna start, I like to start on the bottom because again, it's going to create a seam. And if you notice, uh, so the seam here I put on the bottom, you guys are gonna wanna do the same thing, I think. Um, so I like the seam on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these, just the very first one, I'm going to just glue it. All right, and we're just gonna adhere it. And that again is gonna be our anchor point. 
And then now what we're gonna do, I like to bend them all back. I like to bend them forward first because they indeed, that's gonna be their final resting place. But now I'm bending them all back so I can put glue on them because we're gonna do this one at a time. All right, so I'm just gonna do those a little bit and then once we get those done, we'll add some more. So again, I'm just gonna go around the shape, kind of pinching as I go. Now remember, the front of this window pane, it is fine if you get glue on it. In fact, I expect you to get glue on it and tabs, um, but you're gonna wanna really try to keep this edge piece, the side as pristine as possible because that is what's gonna be noticed. All right, so notice I have one finger underneath my oval as my counter pressure, and I'm essentially pinching with the top. Okay, now once I have that done, I'm gonna keep going with the others. I went ahead and put glue on all of them, and I'm even gonna put, nah, I'm gonna wait on that, okay. Definitely take some time, but it's nice to get your mind off of things. As we are, as we are kind of moving towards the end, you can see that we're colliding with our box tab, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on that box tab. So now, when I glue this last one, I can also pinch the sides to make sure that these are adhered. So I'm pinching the exterior, all right? But my finger, I'm also using the pressure point on the top as well, okay? Sweet, so there we go. That is one good looking top portion. Now, if you have any of your tabs that are a little bit loose, you might wanna add a little extra glue just in case. Okay, so we are gonna do now the same thing but with the littler one, all right? So again, stretch it out, okay? But actually, yeah, stretch it out, so but curl it inward, okay? And so what we're going to do now, oh gosh, I'm trying to figure out how I wanna communicate this, is that I'm gonna push these tabs, again, these tabs, that are pointy away. And the tabs that are rounded, I'm going to point inward. Okay, so again, pointy tabs outward, rounded tabs inward. Okay, so it should look something like that. Pointed tabs out, rounded tabs towards you. All right. And so we are gonna quite literally do the same exact thing, but we're gonna be doing it with the rounded tabs, all right? So again, I'm gonna start at the very bottom, and I want the, I want my seam to be towards the bottom, so it's not really noticed. We are rounding the corner, guys, <laughs> quite literally. I'm gonna go ahead, this is kind of a small piece. I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on all of them, but I'm going to save the glue from the last step, okay. So notice I'm just putting it, essentially curling it with one hand and then the other one, I'm doing the tabs and I'm pushing them down. Okay. All right. 
and you just want to make sure that you do that as tight as possible If, you, if it's also easier to, to hold it down on the table with your finger, you can do that as well. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on this box tab. I'm gonna flip this lasso tooth and put more glue there. And there we go. I'm gonna kind of curl them together. All right, so again, I'm pinching these two right here. All right, but my thumb is in here and so I'm pushing against my thumb. So I have two points of counter pressure. Okay, but I'm gonna to try to make sure that this is square, that, that it's not like folding into each other, that it's still meeting each other really nicely. All right, and so now with that done, you should have a piece that looks like this, kind of like a sun, all right? And so what's gonna happen is that you're going to place then this on the inside. All right, so this is where if you guys have tweezers or again, a pencil or a pen or a pen cap, this is gonna be really helpful because that's gonna be a tight space for you to put, to try to get your, um, to get your thing down. All right, so kind of looking, there's the end. There's my end or my seam. I'm gonna make sure that they're generally lined up. But remember, these are two ovals, right? So you want the ovals to kind of line up a little bit. There we go. So my ovals are lined up. And now I'm gonna just use the end, quite literally, of my, using the end to just glue it in a little bit. Okay. All right, nice. So that's nice and clean. So the next thing that we need to do, as you guys probably have guessed, we're gonna go ahead and put glue. Now you guys need to probably test this. Uh, I've done many, many, many of these, so I forget to test, um, but Remember to practice how you're gonna put the piece on before you put it on. All right, just making sure that you understand where it goes before you put the glue on. Okay, and so there we go. So once again, I'm gonna just push it from underneath. And I'm not really dragging because I don't really want to uh, slip anything. I don't want anything to slip. So I'm quite literally just pushing down in multiple different places. But it is creating a bit of a, a, a seam and a little bit of the glue is coming out, which is fine. Okay, nice. So you have a window and you have a rocket, but we don't necessarily know how to put it together. And the thing is, it's not going to be these tabs. The tabs are mainly for us to be able to hold it and to fold it. So go ahead and fold those tabs down. And then what you guys are gonna do is that we're going to put glue. Now, again, let's practice this first, okay? We are gonna, so after you fold the tabs down, we're gonna put it right there, right on top, okay? So quite literally, we're gonna be covering it barely, okay? So it's important, once you have the glue, to be able to place it and then also just to hold it, all right? Because look here, you can create a very good seam, a very good seam, and that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put glue, and I'm just gonna, I'm putting it a lot, not a lot, but Definitely on the ends. I'm not focusing on the inside of these tabs. I'm focusing on this outer rim. Okay. So we have that covered in glue. Very nice. And I'm gonna 
put it here. I'm going to position it. You really don't want to position it too much. And then you quite literally are just going to hold it. Now you're going to see some glue and that is fine. But the big thing is, is that you just want to hold it until there's a really good secure bond. And when you feel like it's hardening up, if you want to go ahead with tweezers and kind of scrape some of that extra glue off, now is the time to do it. There you go. I love it. You did it. You put together your craft. Now, I know that there was probably a moment or two where you probably, nah, you didn't know if it was gonna come together, but it did. And I'm super proud of you for hanging in there and you did it. And I hope that you're proud of yourself too. And I wanna show off your hard work. So if you could send me a picture of your completed craft at unstationary on Instagram or Facebook or hello at unstationary.store, I would love to share those. Also, if you have any questions or feedback or a request of other fun things to make, feel free to hit me up at hello at unstationary.store. Until next time, friends, happy crafting. Bye.